beforehand. We don't want the dog running in during the uh, during yeah. the actually. <laughs> you might think that the puppy's cute to have there for the interview. <laughs> I'm not sure the interviewer would feel the same way. Virtual interview uh, tips. I want to kind of get into this a little bit more uh, deeply. So a couple of things here. Remember, the, the virtual is no less important than the in-person. You should treat it just the same. Dress up, do your preparation, take it seriously. Get your tech in order. Make sure you're familiar with any requirements. Um, and make sure you got it all down in advance. You know What video platform you're going to be using. Um, how is your internet working that day? Are you on broadband? You know, you know, if you have access to it, you know, make sure your webcam and your microphone are actually working. Um, you know, uh, usually doing it on the computer is better than the mobile device. You know, make sure your online accounts don't have inappropriate, like, you know, usernames or profile <laughs> pictures. Have a backup plan if your technology fails, right? It might be as simple as having like, a phone number or, you know, uh, you know, whether it's yours or the interview is in advance and check to make sure that, you know, um, you know, with that person that you have the backup plan in place. Um, Michael, you had a story recently where like the internet connection wasn't so hot for um, uh, a session with a student that you were doing a mock interview for and you had to like stop it and like, you know, and, and redo it. Um, this idea of prepping your shots really important. You're trying to find a space that that works. I mean, while I may not be in the most glamorous space right now, it is appointed and my camera and my computer are sort of situated um, intentionally. This is not random um, because I want to make sure that, you know, the actual frame um, has some aesthetic uh, attention paid to it. Um, you know, make sure that you're well lit. Um, I find that for a lot of students, their faces are always kind of shaded. You know, when I do these sessions, I have, you know, lamps around me so you can actually see my face. Um, be careful with your clothing, you know, what colors look good on you, you know, in pictures. You know, you want to be, you know, make sure that you dress well and make sure that you're in a private space free of distractions. You know, Michael, you were saying, uh, you know, uh, beforehand, we don't want the dog running in uh, during the, uh, during you, the actual interview. You might think that the puppy's cute to have there for the interview. <laughs> I'm not sure the interviewer would feel the same way. Exactly. Um, and again, turn off notifications. I mean, even when I'm running sessions with students, when the pinging goes off, I mean, honestly, I'm pissed, right? Mm -hmm. You know, clearly this person's not completely focused. Turn notifications off. Put everything on mute other than your, um, you know, whatever your microphone device is. And again, stay cool, stay focused, be friendly, enthusiastic. I mean, in some ways, it's a performance, right? Um, you know, it's in many ways uh, a getting to know you process and you want to be warm, friendly, and here's the thing, you want to be relatable. Don't try to impress anybody. Try to connect with people, right? So, you know, Michael, this, those are some of the things that I think people need to kind of like be aware of in the virtual interview setup. Anything else that I missed? I, I think, you know, you hit everything, you know, right on the mark in terms of that. One thing we haven't mentioned today, though, too, is also remember if you're an international student, the interviewer, the interview is a chance for a, 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 an admissions person to judge your English skills, you know, in terms, it's not just your interaction in terms of how you come across. You know, I, I say this all the time with uh, Chinese families that I've worked with, the virtual interview are two things that I think they want to see that you can be outgoing and not kind of defy that kind of perception that an Asian student is kind of reticent and very shy and quiet. So you want to be able to be outgoing, as you just said a second ago. But they're also going to be judging your English skills because, yes, they may have a transcript. Yes, they may have a TOEFL score. But here's an opportunity to kind of see, is this student going to be able to function in our classrooms? They're going to be taught in all in English, and they're going to have to communicate in the class in English as well, too. That's a little different than what we're talking about here in terms of the domestic student. But I think for some of our international students that we work with, it's important they think about that as well.